it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I am sharing another of my simple stamping Saturday projects with you. So we're doing stamps, ink and paper and we're doing things from the new catalogue and because my brain is going completely off piste, um, I'm going to case a card. And the reason I have to say that my brain is going off piste is because as you're watching this I will be at a team event at which there are going to be something around 50 of us I'm teaching a creative class to about two dozen and at the point when I'm filming this it's all getting a little much um, it's going to be fine but it's just you know sometimes these things just suddenly overwhelm and I'm at that space at the moment so I thought doing something that was relatively straightforward, like casing a card, would be a good idea. So this is the card that I'm casing, and I haven't gone that mad. This is still going to be a simple card. Um, but it's the a little lace bundle, which is this huge great lace die. There's an edge die um, and this lovely stamp set, really pretty stamp set. Wasn't convinced by the stamp set. I knew I wanted the die, but I wasn't convinced by the stamp set. And I'm so pleased that I bought it because it is gorgeous. So my take on the card is this. Um, I It is just an adaptation of it. Um, let's get my bow to be more bow-like. So I've done a kind of colour wash. Um, I've probably put a bit too much colour on, but it's basically a colour wash which was Sahara sand background uh, stamping and then colour wash in so saffron, calypso coral and mint macaron. Um, I've done some fussy cutting which is to mirror this and I put one of these amazing faceted gold faceted gems in the middle. And these are the stitched rectangle dies which if you watched my video on Tuesday around making the nested label dies smaller you can do the same with the rectangles. So that's my avid card. Um, but let's start by showing you my simple card and you hopefully will be able to see the similar similarities. So this is my simple card and this is my avid card and I will come in with my casual card in a moment but this is what I'm going to start with and I'm sure you can see I've got the same stamp, the same colours more or less um, and the same basic layout. This is just using a note card and envelopes and as ever I've stamped on the envelope as well. So let me show you how that is made. It is very quick and easy. That is my whole ethos with this simple cards is that it's not that they are simple so much as they are quick. So they're great for everyone, but they are a great jumping off point as well. You need two ink pads. You need Sahara Sand and Mint Macaron. Obviously you can use other colours to suit what you've got in your stash but that's where I'm coming from and I'm just going to ink up my lovely floral and pop that towards the top and left of my card just make sure that is properly stamped pretty close that because I don't need it anymore um, and I do want this to be a little bit drier than it currently is. Um, so while I'm leaving that to dry, I'm going to come in with the You Mean Everything stamp and mint macaron and just stamp that. Now I could have stamped it further down here, but I want everything to feel joined together. And if, you'd, if I'd moved it down, it might have felt a little disconnected. And you don't want disconnected bits on, excuse me, on your card. So let me grab my, this is two sets, as in the original set and the new set of watercolour pencils. And I just need two, which are the Calypso Coral and the Daffodil Delight. We don't have a So Saffron in watercolour pencil. So all I'm going to do is just add colour very um, lightly. So it's going to be a very light shading of Daffodil Delight rather than going completely to town with the colour. Um, and then I am going to bring in one of my favourite simple stamping tools which is a blender pen which I have used a lot over the weeks. 
I must go back and work out how long I've been doing this for. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. I'm thinking since back end of last year. Um, I know it was something that we kind of started talking about in November at on stage when I was over in Orlando. Um, so I must have started it fairly soon after that. So it's been going a while, my simple stamping Saturdays. So that's that. And then Calypso Coral. And I've been re <laughs> I've made it even easier with this. So I want quite a bit in the middle. So I'm going to lay down, lay down quite a lot there. And then I'm just going to scribble. And I'm not even going to worry about the um, petals per se. I'm just going to scribble. I am that abandoned. That's all the colouring I need to do. So I'm just going to grab my blender pen and a little scrap of Whisper White just to make sure that everything is clean. I'm going to do my So Saffron, as, as opposed, you know, it's Daffodil Delight, obviously, but my So Saffron first. And all I'm doing is just moving the ink around a little bit. I'm not going mad and I'm certainly not scrubbing. I'm using a very light touch so that I don't pill the cardstock. Then clean off my blender pen before I go in to the Calypso Coral and I'm going to start from the outside because I want this to be soft and what I don't want is to add too much of the Calypso Coral from the middle which is where I've got quite a lot of saturated colour but I'm just again gentle touch and then when I, once I've done that go into the middle to just blend that out clean off my pen again so that I know next time I pick it up it's clean. I will still test it next time but that's just my habit is always to clean it before I start and clean it once I finished. Then I don't get cross-contamination of colour. Okay and that's particularly important because as your blender pen gets older, whoops, as your blender pen gets older it will, the nib will get stained so it will be more difficult to know whether or not you have um, got colour on there that you've been using. So a piece of scrap grid paper and my little floral, Sahara sand, and this is just so that I've got a stamped envelope. And all I'm going to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and stamp that. And that is our simple project quick project. So if I pop it like that you can see the note card and the envelope. That's the one I did before with its matching envelope. Get rid of the stamp. Now the casual version is this one and I've used blends. I've used just three blends. So I've got the new So Saffron, I want to say light, yes, Calypso Coral Light and Dark and the Mint Macaron Light and I've just picked out the Mint Macaron um, for this image here. Not that it's that colour in any of the other versions but just to introduce the Mint Macaron. Then I've used the Timeless Punch, she says keeping her fingers crossed that it is the Timeless Punch, to punch out the stamped sentiment and I've just trimmed it down to make it smaller. So there you are. Our quick and easy, our slightly more involved, this is fussy cut by the way, and a faceted gem, which would be so much better if it had been straight in the middle, as opposed to one side, there we are. Um, faceted gem, faceted gem here, but this has got the watercolour effect on the background. You do have to be careful when you do watercolour on Whisper White, and this is ordinary Whisper White, it's not even the thick, um, just... Yeah, just be aware that the water doesn't, the paper doesn't like the water. So very light touch again um, and don't go over the same place too many times. Uh, and when you want to tear it to get your vintage effect, uh, you need to apply a little bit of water, tear it a bit more, tear it, 
because it will absorb straight into the paper and not give you a good tear. So just be aware of that. So thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Um, I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. My Saturday will be great. Um, I'm sure it will go well. Fingers crossed. Um, if you've enjoyed this, do give it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe and you don't already, it's the bottom right hand corner of the screen here, or you can go over to my channel and hit the subscribe button there. If you would like any of the products that I've used, they will be listed below in the order in which I have made them. So note cards and envelopes, casual, avid, so that you can see how you can build. Um, and there'll be photographs and all that good stuff over on my blog. And that is linked below. So do go and have a look at that. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And I look forward to seeing from, hearing from you. Blah, brain work. Hearing from you. No, I look forward to seeing you very soon. <laughs> Bye.